Gregor, you've named your team to face Italy on Saturday and Cam Redpath coming in for Sione. Yeah, it's, it's obviously um, disappointing news that Sione is, is injured. Uh, he's been a key part of our team, both in terms of how he plays, but also how he leads, um, being vice-captain. But Cam is, is someone who's been in really good form in training and also when, it, when he's had the opportunities this year. His connection with, with Finn from club level should, should mean that... Um, that cohesion that, that we built up is still there, even though we made that change. George Horn and Ali Price are your chosen scrum halves for this game. What's your thinking there? Yeah, really, really for two reasons. Uh, one is to, to reward both George and Ali, who have been in very good form w with us and with our clubs, uh, and also to give Ben a, a rest. He's played a lot of rugby since sub September, October, and um, a lot of rugby through this period as well. So we, we feel he needs a, a recharge this week. Uh, but we're, we're also looking forward to, to see George get a start and Ali bring his experience on um, at some point in the second half. And Andy Christie has impressed recently at club and at country, and he comes in. What's the what stood out about him recently? Well, you, you know, he, he played a lot of rugby too before the Six Nations, and he was very consistent with Saracens um, and not knocking hard on the door of selections but for us. Uh, and he's came off the bench and the last two games and really made a difference. Um, added energy, did well in defence, uh, been part of our attack, so we, we feel he's earned that right to start. And a 6-2 split on the bench with Matt Figgerson and Angie Mirich in there, what's your thoughts? Yeah, p partly because of the quality of bat rows we have. Um, we, we want Jamie and Matt to, to really contribute to, to the team performance. Um, we do see the, the work rate, the forwards, um, going to be crucial for, for this weekend and as we go into our final week. Uh, so. The, the ability to manage load and probably the, the final reason is uh, the, the fact we have players that, that can swap positions quite easily in the, in the back line. Blair obviously being one who, who can play a standoff elsewhere in the back three and we have forwards if, if needs be um, having to move to the backs um, but let's hope that won't be the case. Italy seem to be improving year on year, it's no different this championship, what are you expecting from them this weekend? Well really, really um, Test, a really big test for us. I think what playing in Italy is always a challenge. Uh, the atmosphere and the passion that, that the Italians bring is, is unique in world rugby. Italy have been building um, over the last two years, showing some great performances. Um, we, we've obviously experienced that at Murrayfield last year uh, when they pushed us right to the, to the last minute. They did something similar in their last game against France. Um, either of those games could have, could have went their way and they know this will be massive opportunity of being, being back at home uh, for that last chance of the, the Six Nations.